Hi. Now suppose you've got a particle moving around a horizontal circle at a constant speed or constant angular speed. The question I want to ask you is, is it accelerating? Just give you a moment to think about that. Well, it might surprise you, but it is accelerating. Quite often when I ask people this question, they say, no, it's not, because they think of the fact that a particle should be speeding up. Well, acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity, not speed. And remember that velocity is speed in a given direction. So the speed is staying constant, but it's the direction of motion which is changing. So therefore, it is accelerating. And so what I want to do in this video is show you what direction that acceleration acts, and also to work out its magnitude. Now suppose the particle is moving around a circle with center O radius R. And at time t, let's say it's at this point here, which I'll label A, and we'll just put t there. And a short time later, it's at this point here, B. That short time we'll call delta t. So the time it gets to be will be t plus delta t. And during that time, the particle would have traveled an angle, a very small angle, which we'll call delta theta, and that will be measured in radians. Now suppose we take this velocity here and split it into two components, one parallel to this velocity vector here, and the other parallel to AO. So we're going to have something looking like this. That one parallel to V, and this one parallel to AO. Now in order to work out these two components, I need an angle somewhere in between here. But I can see that AO is parallel to this component here. So therefore, this angle in here must be delta theta. It's alternate to this one here. So that's delta theta. And because V here is perpendicular to OB, this angle in here must be 90 minus delta theta. But then these two components are perpendicular to one another. So this then must be delta theta. Now I'll just remove this angle here so as we just don't complicate the diagram. So what are these components? Well this component here will be V cosine of delta theta. And this component here will be V sine of delta theta. Now what I want to do next is consider the acceleration in two perpendicular directions. One in this direction and one in this direction. So let's start then by looking at the acceleration. Let's just introduce it here. The acceleration perpendicular to the radius AO. Okay? And by definition, this is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time. So the change in velocity, first of all. Well, the final velocity, as it goes from A to B, is going to be V cos delta theta. So we've got V cosine of delta theta. And then it's going to be minus this initial velocity in that direction, which was minus V. And we divide that then by the time taken to go from A to B, which was delta T. Now, what we need to do next is consider what happens as delta t tends to zero. As delta t tends to zero, then this angle here is also going to tend to zero. So delta theta will tend to zero. And also, that would mean that the point B will get closer to the point A. So B will tend towards A. Now looking at this equation here, it's got the cosine of delta theta in. And if the delta theta is measured in radians, which it is, then for small angles, we should also know 
that the cosine of a small angle, delta theta, when it's measured in radians, is approximately 1. So what does this tell us about the acceleration perpendicular to AO? Well, we've got V times 1, V in other words, minus V, which is 0. So you end up with the acceleration being 0. So just write that in here. The acceleration equals 0. OK, so that's in that direction. Next, I'm going to consider the direction AO, OK, the one that's parallel to AO here. So let's just look at that. We'll introduce that one as the acceleration all right, in the direction direction AO. And if we do that, the change in velocity here is going to be the final velocity, which is V sine delta theta. So you've got V sine delta theta minus the initial velocity in that direction. Well, there was no velocity in that direction. So that's going to be minus zero. And then that's divided by the time taken, which is delta t. Now, what we do next is much the same as what we did up here. We let delta t tend to zero. So as delta t tends to zero, we know the angle, delta theta, that's going to tend towards zero. But in this equation here, we've got the sine of delta theta. And the sine of delta theta for small angles that are in radians, well, that is roughly the same as delta theta. So when we look at the acceleration, let's just mark it in here, the acceleration which is directed towards the center here, so the acceleration towards O, well, that's going to be equal to V times delta theta divided by delta T. But delta theta over delta T should be familiar with is angular speed. So we'll just put that in there. But delta theta over delta T is angular speed. And we call that omega. And so what we've got here then is that the acceleration is v times omega. But we don't tend to go with this version because we've got two different types of speed here. And in most questions, you're not going to get both types of speed. We stick with one or the other. So what's the connection between v and omega? Well, we should know that v equals omega r. So using this result, we therefore have got that the acceleration, a, if we replace the v with omega r, then we get omega squared r. Or the acceleration is equal to, and if we replace omega with v over r, we end up with the acceleration equals v squared over r. So two different versions for acceleration, depending on whether you're given omega or v in a question. So in summary then, if you've got a particle going around a circle with a constant speed or constant angular speed, then the acceleration is always directed towards the center of the circle of radius r. And we've just seen that it's either omega squared r or v squared over r. Now we'll be using this concept in a lot of problems that deal with particles moving around in circles, as you'll see in the later videos. But for now, hope that's given you some help on this.